This podcast is produced by the Harwood Productions Podcast Network. To learn more about the network and to find more of our shows, visit us online at www.harwoodpodcast.com. Hey there, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of SketchUp, a 3D Toolbox. I'm Cameron Harris, and this is episode number 19. Today, we're going to start talking about a really useful feature in SketchUp, the 3D Warehouse. The 3D Warehouse is basically an online store filled with thousands of models that other users of SketchUp have already built for you. These can be oh, things like plants, landscaping, furniture, even entire houses or neighborhoods that people have modeled in SketchUp and uploaded to this warehouse for everyone to use. Everything on there is completely free and can be adjusted by you, but you don't have to model everything from scratch. Let me show you how you can use it. So here we are back in the living room model we've been working on for the last several episodes. And if you uh, aren't at this point quite yet, you can always download uh, the model as it is right now from our website. Just go to the show notes for this episode. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, add some more furniture to this room, but we're going to get the furniture from the 3D warehouse instead of modeling it from scratch. That's going to save us quite a bit of time. So since this is a little living room, uh, let's try adding uh, maybe some kind of a media center to this living room. So like for example, we have the couch right here. It seems like this wall right here would be a very nice place to put a media center. So let's go ahead and pop into the uh, 3D warehouse. Now there's a couple ways you can get to the 3D warehouse. Uh, first of all, it has of course a button uh, in the toolbar. At least it should have one by default. Up in here, you notice we have one that looks like a, an open cardboard box with an arrow pointing down that says get models. If we click that, then that will take us to the 3D warehouse. Otherwise, you can also get to it from the menu bar. Now, I highly recommend that you put the button in your toolbar if you don't have it in there already. But if you prefer going through the menu bar, you can always just go up to File. And then right down here, you notice we have one that says 3D Warehouse. And then we have an option in that dropdown that says Get Models. Now, it's not quite as easy as just clicking on the button in the toolbar, but it will do just fine if you don't use the 3D Warehouse too often. So we'll just go ahead and click on Get Models. And you'll notice, I'll bring this right into the middle, that's where I like it. We now have a nice little Google powered search engine that will only search the 3D Warehouse. So what we can do is we can just use this search box right here to search for whatever it is we want to find. Now down here we have popular models and featured models and things like that. You see we've got a bed there, we've got a car, we've got some windows. But uh, we want to search for a media center. So let's just uh, type in media center. And here we have our search results. Now if you want to, you can always increase the size of your search window a little bit a little bit to kind of get a little bit of a better view, idea of what you're looking at. But here you can see all these models that people have uploaded to the 3D warehouse that are pre-built and pre-made for us that we can download and use in our model. So, and you can see we have little icons here. So we can kind of get a quick little preview of what we're looking at. And some of them even have star ratings. So you can actually rate these just like, uh, oh, say on like Amazon.com, for example, how they have ratings. You can actually rate a model. So let's take a look at uh, this one here, this first one, the Chicago Media Center. If we click on it, it takes us to uh, the actual page for that model. And that's looking pretty interesting. So let's see here. It's gotten two five-star ratings. It's the Media Center by Blue Dot. Now this is a good thing to point out that this is actually a real product. This is the Chicago Media Center by Blue Dot. This is an actual product that physically exists in our real world and that has been replicated in the 3D warehouse. Now some of the models in here are actually, you know, I guess you could call them fictional. <laughs> they, they've they been basically just created in 3D based off of someone's imagination. But a lot of them are actually real pieces of furniture that you can actually buy at a store. Now, one thing that's very nice is that you have this button right here that says download model. You download that model and it'll load it into your, uh, into your SketchUp model 
on your computer. But if you want to get a little bit of a better idea of what it is you're dealing with, you notice this is just a little still of this model. But up here we have a little toggle switch. We have image, which is what we're on right now, but we also have 3D view. If you click 3D view, it gives you a little preview and you can actually click and drag left and right and get a complete 3D 360 of the model itself. So that's kind of a cool cool model. I really actually kind of like that. So let's go ahead and try using that. So if we click on download model, it's going to say, do you want to load this directly into your SketchUp model? Now we can say no, cancel, but in this case we actually do want to do that. So we'll just go ahead and say okay. And it downloads very quickly and now you see it's automatically switched us to the move tool and we can now place this thing down wherever we want. And it's been kind enough to make it so our move tool is actually focused on the bottom of the model. So we can just hover over the floor here and put it wherever we want. So like, let's say we wanted this to line up with this corner of the wall right here. We can just snap to that, set it down. And all models from the 3D warehouse come in as one big group. So I'll go ahead and move to the selection tool and click off of that thing to deselect it. Very nice, that actually fits quite nicely in here. I'll maybe select it and move it to the right a little bit, kind of center it on that wall. Very nice. That's a pretty neat style. It goes very well with the red in the room. Fits very nicely. And this is a very nice thing as well because most of the models in the 3D warehouse are pretty accurate in terms of size. So if this was actually a you know a, an actual room that you had replicated, say it was actually your living room and you were kind of rearranging the furniture in 3D before you actually, you know, rearranged the furniture in in the real world, you could actually plop this thing in and see, okay, it fits very nicely on that wall, doesn't stick out too much, still leaves the doorway clear. But now I can see that, you know, the couch, it's not really the best place for the couch. The couch is kind of, if we look at it up in the air, the couch has moved over to the left quite a bit. So let's go ahead and select that couch and move it to the right and kind of center it. Very nice. And now the media center is just missing a TV. So we can just pop right back into the 3D warehouse and get a TV. So if we click on the 3D warehouse button up here, I'm gonna use the get models button this time. You see it does the same thing and it takes us right back to the home page. Now the 3D warehouse acts very much like a, a web browser in that you have up here, you have the home, this little house button that will take you back home. But you also have these forward and back buttons and they remember where you were. So like, let's say we wanted to get back to that media center model after we went back here and it reset our view, we can just click the back button and it takes us right back there. But in this case, I actually want to start a new search. So I'll just click the home button and let's do a search for a flat screen TV. And here we've got some flat screens that uh, we can choose from. And a lot of them even say in the name how big they are. So like 50 inch, 48 inch, a little bit big for what I for what we're looking for. Let's try here's a 28 inch. Let's see what this looks like. Switch to the 3D view. Twirl around. Now this is a good an example of why it's a very good idea to look in the 3D view before you go through the trouble of downloading this thing. You can see that although it says flat screen, it's not really very flat. <laughs> it's pretty thick and that's not really going to fit on our media center, I can tell you that much. So let's look through here. Now this looks like a very nice TV. If we go to the 3D view, we can see that it's very thin. This is a 46 inch, that's pretty good. Let's download that and see what it looks like. Now here's another good example. When you download a model, you never really know where it's going to end up or what its orientation is gonna be. I mean, you can place it anywhere, but we can't just slap this right on the media center because it's not oriented correctly. So what I like to do is, just like when I'm building furniture, I like to build it outside. I oftentimes will stick my 3D warehouse downloads outside my model so that I can manipulate them before I actually put them in my room. So you can see that's a very nice, simple little TV. I really like that. I think that's gonna work out very nicely. And you can see it came in as a group because I click on it once selects the whole thing. We've got this nice bounding box here. 
And you'll remember in our last episode, I mentioned a very neat way of uh, rotating things without having to go into the rotate tool. If it's a group, like this is, we can switch to the move tool by hitting the M key. And as we hover over each side of the model, we get these little red crosshairs. And if we click on any one of them, we can rotate this. So I, I want to rotate it 90 degrees like that. And now we've got it facing the correct way. And now I'm going to grab it by its base right here. And now I'm just going to adjust my view and go in through the window here. And you can see it fits perfectly on our media center. And it can come back a little ways up against the wall. And now we've got a very nice TV on a very nice looking media center. So this is great, but as, as is usually the case, I want to make some slight adjustments to this. Like this is a very nice model, but it doesn't exactly fit in with the rest of my decor. I've gone with a very kind of natural wood kind of a feel in the rest of the room, and all of a sudden I've got this big piece of black furniture here. Now, it's very nice looking, but it doesn't really go with the look that I'm going for. So what I can do is I can, just like any other model, I can actually edit this as if I had created it. Now, it does not it's not always built the same way that you're expecting. Some different people have different building styles, but the basics of SketchUp still apply. So I can just click on the, on the model to select the group, and then I can double click, and now I'm in the group edit mode. And you can see that now, actually, these are each individual groups. Each of these black units have been grouped individually. I can keep double clicking and then I'm now I'm in the raw line and face mode, but I actually like being in this mode where each black thing is its own group. Because what I want to do is I want to change the black to a lighter wood color. So I'll go ahead and change to the bucket tool. Remember, B for bucket. And now I've got my colors palette here. So let's shift over to some wood here. And let's try some of this stuff here. Let's see what this looks like. Now because, if I go back to the selection tool, you'll notice each one of these black units is its own group. I could go into the raw line in face mode and individually paint each one of these faces, but that's going to take a long time and it's going to, you know, be pretty fiddly. If I just click once with the bucket tool on a group, it'll paint that entire group. So what I can do is I can just go back to the bucket tool, select that wood texture and click once on one of these groups, and it turns it into that wood color. You can do that for all of these black ones here. And now I've just changed it into a very nice natural wood color. Double click elsewhere to get out of there. And you can see that really fits in much nicer with the rest of my decor. And again, this might not be your personal style. Paint it whatever you want. You could even go in and make changes to it. You could get rid of these top units, for example. You might not like these guys here. You might just like to have it be a little bit of a lower style media center. But uh, really, what's great about the 3D Warehouse is that everything can be redone, remixed. You could even just download a media center and use it as a, a, a springboard, a starting point for your own media center model. Just keep tweaking it until it's perfect for you. And then just, you know, go crazy. Repaint it, redo it, resize it, do whatever you want to do. So as you can see, the 3D Warehouse is an incredibly useful feature in SketchUp and a really great time saver as well. Because while it's nice to be able to model anything you want in SketchUp, that doesn't mean you always have to. If all you want is a simple TV or a chair and you don't really care what it looks like, you just want something quick and easy, the 3D Warehouse is a great place to look. And also remember that if you are looking at getting something like a media center or some kind of piece of furniture in the real world, search for the name of that piece on the 3D Warehouse. Chances are someone has modeled it. And if they haven't, well, there's a nice little project for you. Now, until next time, be sure to visit us online at www.harwoodpodcast.com. There we have the show notes, lesson files you can download, all kinds of great stuff. 
our online store where you can buy DVD versions of our shows, and our newsletter, of course. And if you have any questions for me about the show, you can send me an email at Cameron at HarwoodPodcast.com. Until next time, I'll just say goodbye and good modeling.